Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips presented by Sorg Dodge. Today we're inside of a 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie Crew Cab with this incredible 12-inch Uconnect radio. Today we're going to cover a few of the base features of the Uconnect 12-inch system, but we're going to spend most of our time talking about the Android Auto that is built into this system as well. So as you can see here, I currently have the FM radio pulled up, takes up the entire 12-inch screen. We also have the ability down at the bottom to go into controls, which will pull up access to our driver and passenger heated seat, as well as the ventilated seats, the heated steering wheel, and quick access to the backup camera, which you can see here. You also have access to your climate controls that you can see here as well as full screen navigation. Makes it very easy to see where you're at and where you're going. You'll see your phone access down here to be able to make wireless calls, and then another quick shortcut for your backup camera again. Now the one thing that we really wanna focus on with this radio is the ability to plug in your Apple or your Android phone and access either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. In this case, my phone is an Android phone, so we'll be accessing Android Auto. Because I don't have the ability to show you on my phone that I'm recording on how to access all of those features, you'll need to access your Android Google Play Store and search for the Android Auto app and install it before you start with the radio. I've already done that when I plug in the handy USB-C cable here, which is plugged into USB port number one. Uh, the video will stop briefly because it has to activate the Android Auto system. So let me go ahead and plug this in now, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, and we are back. So as you'll notice, the screen has changed over to the USB media interface, and it automatically pulled up my playlist from Spotify. And if you look down here, this icon right here that used to say phone now says Android Auto. So if we press that icon, it's going to automatically split the screen into your Android Auto system here, as well as a secondary item of your choice. I just happen to set this one for climate so that I can adjust the climate while we're in the vehicle, but we can always close that out and we could choose the navigation map. We could have the phone, Sirius XM travel link, but for now, we're just going to put it back to comfort. So what we're going to focus on here is the Android Auto system. Your default Android Auto home screen is going to be Google Maps. So as you can see here, we have a map pulled up, shows our current location here, also shows a couple of my previously searched addresses, as well as settings that I can go into to uh, tell it whether or not I want to avoid toll roads, um, different settings that you would want when you're planning a trip. You'll also see down here that we have a home button. It loaded some Spotify controls for me, a notification bell, and access to my full Google Assistant. So if we go ahead and hit the home button, that's gonna load up a list of all of the available Android Auto apps that are currently loaded on my device. So we'll see we have Google Maps, Spotify, Google Play Music, access to your phone, the ability to exit back to the Uconnect system, calendar, news, podcasts, reminders, settings, and weather. So we'll cover just a couple of these apps real quick so you can get an idea of what the system's going to do. Any of the icons that you see that have the small Google Assistant icon on it means that it's going to be voice activated. So if we hit weather. Right now in Goshen, it's 22 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 25 and a low of 13. You'll see that we had the Google Assistant read out the weather to us. I don't know if you happened to catch right at the end of that, there was a bar that popped up here. Um, our detail person sends me notifications when there's new vehicles that are cleaned and ready to have photos taken. Uh, so she just sent me a message that said there was a stock number of a vehicle ready to go. That popped up in the Android system as well. And then you can see I also have a small red notification dot down here now. So if we click on that, you'll be able to see that she had a question for me. So I could go in, I could play that message, I could mute the conversation, or I can just clear it out just like so. 
if we go up here, the other thing we can do that's very nice is, it, especially if you're a busy person, is you can click the calendar button and it will read out events that you have for the week. There's one entry for this week. On Saturday at 4 p.m., you have club fitting. So there you'll see I have a golf club fitting scheduled for this Saturday at 4 p.m. If I had other things that were in my calendar for this week, it would read those out as well. If we click into the phone icon here, you'll see we have access to favorites, call history, contacts, dial a number, and voicemail. All of the same settings that you would normally find underneath the phone icon here when you're not plugged into the Android Auto system, they just move up here instead. So we can go back home again. If you're subscribed to Google Play Music, you can utilize that platform. I myself use Spotify. So if we click into the Spotify app here, you'll see that I've got a playlist loaded up here and the first song that it found was Chase Rice. So you can actually hit play on that. You can turn the radio up here. This Laramie is equipped with the Alpine speaker system. Awesome sound and stereo system in here. The other thing the Spotify system will allow you to do is you can actually hit your current playlist button here and you can scroll down through everything that you've got in that playlist, skip around, pick a new song change your playlist all together we'll go back home you can navigate back into maps and that takes us back to the screen that we started at you'll also notice up here in the top corner it tells you what your current cell phone signal is as well as your cell phone battery um, does have the lightning bolt there letting me know that the system is charging my phone a little bit before we started and those are the key features of your Android Auto system if you would like to exit the Android Auto system, you can hit exit there and that'll take you back to the standard Uconnect system and then you can start using your full screen climate and controls apps that we showed you at the beginning. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you ever have any questions, please contact, contact us here at Sorg Dodge. We'd be more than happy to help you.